I found some Copic markers on Wish. Hello there. I love doing these Wish videos. I have been doing them for probably maybe a year now. I just do them every so often and people really enjoy them. And every single time, without fail, people say to me, Chloe, can you please try the Copic markers on the Wish website? And I always look and I never see any Wish Copic markers, ever. Never have, never ever see them. But the other day, I thought it would be hilarious to go on the Wish website and find a bunch of really bizarre, weird stuff and send it to my boyfriend and then make him open them up on a video on his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, by the way, if you want to see him open up the weird stuff I sent him. But I was on there and I thought, you know what, I'll just do another quick check for Copic markers. And lo and behold, look what I found. I found a set of Copic markers in secondary colours. And I saw these and I was like, oh, I've got to buy them. They were like $36. And I was like, I know that I can get that cheaper online somewhere than $36. But of course, for the sake of this video, I bought the expensive Copic markers from Wish to see if they were like the actual ones. And of course, I also bought the same set of Copic markers on Amazon. Um, they look identical. The only reason that I know that these are different is because I stuck a little A on the corner of these for Amazon because I knew that I would never ever know which was which. So yeah, they're literally identical. And I'm really excited to compare to see what I know are real Copics to the ones that I got from Wish. I also found some Faber-Castell pencils um, and I looked for an identical set and this was the closest I could find on Amazon. Um, they're both 12 pieces. They look very similar so i thought that i would compare those as well to see if there is genuinely a difference i would just like to quickly mention that this video is being sponsored by artemino who are the wonderful sponsors today who allow me to buy the supplies that i buy in this video um, they're a fantastic art community app that you can get on your phone your tablet and it's basically just an amazing community for artists so i'll talk a little bit more about them later on so that's what i've got i'm going to test them compare them to see if they're the same what the difference is and yeah let's get started okay so because i have two sets of these you know nobody needs two sets of the same colors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give one of these sets away to someone over on my instagram when it hits 20k uh I'm not quite there yet so make sure you go follow me um and when i hit 20k i'll do a nice copic marker giveaway so yes okay so here we have our two copic sketch uh secondary tone packages now I'm looking up really closely and honestly, they're just entirely identical. All exactly the same in the same order. And even the back is exactly the same. So if you're wondering why I'm so excited about this, it's because I literally own about 12 Copic markers. Um, so now I own 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I own 24 Copic markers. So uh, here you can see the little gray marking that tells you that this is the brush end. Um, I owned my first Copic markers about an entire year before I actually knew that. So I was always getting frustrated, like why don't they actually let you know which end is which, but you know what? They do, I'm just stupid. So first going on, this does feel and look and it's, oh, it stinks. It smells exactly like a Copic marker does yeah this one looks good too they all seem to be going on pretty decently so there we go those are the wish colors right there and genuinely everything that i'm seeing right now these are real copic markers as far as i can tell next up we have our amazon set okay so just comparing these copics on the left here is amazon on the right here is wish size of them is identical the barcode is absolutely identical. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've noticed a difference here and I'm not sure if this is a thing. Do tell me if I'm wrong. But do you notice how the Amazon one here has a little H on it? Can you see the little H there? But the Wish one has a K. Yeah, identical color, which is good. Okay, so there we have it. There's our swatch. The colors are exactly identical. They went on exactly the same. Um, they, let me do the smell test, hang on. 
Yep, they, but they stink as well. This one was a successful pass. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna try out the Faber-Castell pencils. Um, these are slightly different because they're triangular. So what I'm finding interesting about this is, even though I bought these on Amazon, it says conforms to EN71, safe for children, European safety standards. I'm not in Europe, so I'm not really sure why my, my, my Amazon sent me this kind of set. The thing is, they are gonna be different colors, that's the only thing. So um, I'm kind of just gonna base this on how they go on the paper. You know what they don't seem? You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? They don't seem all that pigmented. Why is it gold? That is, that's yellow, that is not gold. See, what I really don't understand is why you have a 12 set of pencils and then have two yellows in it. Yeah, I definitely do prefer the Prismacolor pencils. I just feel like they're so much more like, boom, in your face, vibrant and pigmented. These ones are just kind of, I feel like are more aimed at coloring books. Next up, we have the Amazon uh, Triangular Color Pencil Best Grip Pencils. So, um, but we'll see, see how these go. So if you look at these right here, you can kind of see that the, the actual color inside is a lot thicker on the Amazon ones than they are on the Wish ones. I'm not sure if that's just because of the kind of pencil they are, but these are, the, the Amazon ones are a lot sturdier than the ones on Wish. Wow, already you can see how bright and pigmented these are. Look at that, compared to this one. Right, I'm gonna go back and use this one. This is the Wish one. You can literally, I'm pressing really hard, it's getting a better effect, but you can literally see the difference. I feel like the colors in this set are a lot more practical as well. I think that they, they work better for more variation. There we go. Okay, can you see a difference? I can see a very plain difference here. And I'm not sure if there is genuinely a difference between the the tri-colour and the classic colour. There may be a difference, but I couldn't find any of these classic colours online. So for this one, I'm gonna say no. These are not the same. These are definitely a lot better. So um, I'm not gonna be drawing anything today to colour it in because I am in a bit of a rut with my art at the moment. I'm kind of like, well, I'm still trying to find my niche, what I like to draw most and I'm being a bit discouraged at the moment, so I kind of wanted to just take a step back from drawing on my channel and just sort of draw for myself personally. It also kind of doesn't help that I have actually messed up my wrist a little bit and it really hurts. Today, we're gonna be using the sketchbook of Loish that I got when I bought her amazing book. As you can see, I've split the drawing right down the middle and then I'm going to use all the Wish stuff this side and all the Amazon stuff on this side. Also, I'd just like to note that I literally never, ever, ever do anything with markers. <laughs> I'd also like to make note that I've actually not coloured anything in, like, professionally with markers since I was about three years old. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I can't even colour inside the lines properly. <laughs> oh. She's starting to have a bit of a Donald Trump-esque vibe about her skin tone here. I won't lie, I'm actually very, very, very impressed with these. I just wish, wish, was, you know, was cheaper for their Copic markers. Okay, I think I'm going to use the pencils now. As you can see, these pencils are just like not at all bright. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do for the Wish side. Just keep it simple and sweet. Now I'm gonna work on the Amazon side to see how that looks. Oh God, oh. Well, my Amazon marker has just leaked on me, um, which she, she's got no, ah! Oh no, I've just made it worse. So I really don't know what's just happened. My Amazon one just completely leaked out on me. Okay, 
Okay, so this is how it turned out. Uh, it's very rough colouring in, obviously. If I'd spent longer, I could probably do a better job. But um, the Wish side and the Amazon side, as you can see, the colours are identical. Uh, I put a bit of the, the pe coloured pencil on here, as you can see, the difference in that. Um, but overall, the actual markers are exactly the same, in my perfectly honest opinion. I mean, even the Amazon ones failed me right there. But, um, yeah, I am. I feel pretty confident in saying that those Copics from Wish are definitely the same as the ones on Amazon. Uh, the Faber-Castell pencils I'm still on the edge about because I don't know if there's different versions. But the ones from Wish did not colour very well at all, whereas the ones from Amazon were, like, really, really vibrant and beautiful. Um, again, this is a really rough, crappy colouring in here, but you can see how pigmented this is compared to this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, before I go, I'd like to talk a little bit more about Artemino. Now, Artemino is something that I've been a part of since last year. It's a fantastic art community for artists. So think deviant art, but kind of more modern and more but more responsive, there's more to do and it's easier to navigate. Basically, you can join in on polls, you can join in on chat rooms. I actually did a chat room chat the other day, which was a lot of fun and talked to a bunch of you. Um, they have contests, they have basically a place for you to upload all of your art and it's just a really great and fun, positive way to meet other artists. You can upload your art there and sometimes you'll be able to get your art featured on the main page, which is really, really fun when that happens. You can always see how many people are online, you can get involved and just have a really great time on the app. So I do recommend it highly. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description for you. Also, you can follow me over on Artemino as well. Um, sometimes I do like chat rooms on there, which is a lot of fun. And yeah, it's a nice way to kind of get involved and to have a nice talk with you all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favourite supplies that you've bought from Wish are, or maybe supplies that you'd like to give a try from Wish. I would love to hear them. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.